Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to some Hearthstone Grand Tournament card pack openings. So we have a bunch of card packs to open, but we'll stick to five for now. So we ended last time with a legendary. So let's see what we start with. So that's a uncommon card. One mana druid card, living roots. Choose one, deal two damage, or summon two one one saplings. It's nice for a quick boost of damage or get at least a couple of minions out which you might be able to do and get buffed up later on. So we'll move to the next card and that is Flash Heal. Now that's a priest card. One mana restore five health. If we go to the bottom right corner let's click ah wonderful so we get our second tusker totemic battle cry summon any random totem it's a free two for free now we get our rare card so we'll Skip over that for now. And we get a Dalaran Aspirant. Yeah, and that's that solid 4 mana for 3 5. And each time you use your hero power, the spell damage will increase. So it's a fairly solid card overall. So let's see what's in our rear. Turn it over, and we get, I think that's actually now our third Tusker Jouster. Battle Cry, with revealing minion in each deck, Veer Scott S'more, restore 7 health to your hero, 5-5 five, five for 5 mana. Now I've talked about this guy in previous packs, so I'll just move over, and now we're into the twenties. Now this is pack number two for today. So I'll pop it open and we'll see what we get. I think I'd like to go anti-clockwise on this one. So oh we get our rear in the top left corner. So what's in our lucky bottom right corner? Apparently an uncommon card. So that's a 3-3-4. Three, three, spell Slinger. Again, we've seen this card before. Add a random spell to each player's hand. You might get rubbish. You might get good. I guess it's going to be from your class. It might not be. I've not tried it out yet. So on the bottom right corner here. Druid of the Saber. Choose one. Transform to gain charge or plus one plus one and stealth. So that's a 2 1 with charge or 3 2 with stealth for 2 mana. One of the advantages, and I think I maybe mentioned, I forgot to realise this until I was playing around with the uh, Tavern Brawl for Truths. And it has been mentioned in the past, actually, that the Druid forums are actually beasts. So that will actually synergize with some of the beast cards. So, let's see here. We get our Silver Hand Regent. 3 for 3-3. Three, three. Inspire, summon a 1-1 one, one Silver Hand Recruit. Again, while it's sort of geared towards Paladins, any class can use it. 
sword enough, and I think this one will probably see a bit of clay. So at the top, we have an uncommon, and that's the refreshment vendor. Four for three, five. Battle cry, restore four health to each hero. Good to quickly jump in if you're starting to get behind on life already. Solid enough body, should be able to take you know, two or three hits at that point. Trades decently with a few things, so for example, a, a Yeti it would trade with. So, uh, going back to the top left corner, and we have a rare card. So let's see what we get. Three or two, five. A Colosseum Manager. Inspire. Return this minion to your hand. So you have to be careful you don't use it too early. As using, because that will prevent you from using your hero power to an extent. You can maybe summon it and then take out a minion with it perhaps. Next turn you can in effect stop it from being killed if it's maybe been brought down to a 2-1 two, two or 2-2. Two, two. You could resummon it and bring it back. 3 mana for 2-5 is solid enough. I mean, it'll trade off with a 3-2. Um, I won't trade with a 2 free, but you know, again, you can attack with it and then bring it back the next turn into your hand to play again. Although it will be slow as it doesn't have an impact on the board, there's no charge, for example. So let's now move on to pack number 3. And we're going to start at our lucky bottom right corner. Or rather, bottom left corner, even. So let's turn it over and we get the not so lucky Shadow Pan Rider. I've seen this one before, combined with the coin for 4 mana, plus the coin is 5. It's a really good card. However, anything else you're maybe looking at saying, well, you know, I would have just been as effective having maybe like a 6 7 Ogre for 6 mana. You would need to combine it with another card. So let's have a look here. I'll get a fearsome Doom Guard. Again, I've seen this boy before. 7 mana, so he's quite expensive. For a 6 8, nothing special. So you won't make an immediate impact on the board. But you will have some synergy with other Dean cards, such as the Void Collar. But, you know, at 7 mana, there's maybe better legendaries you could actually play, such as Dr. Boom. I pay 7 mana, can't quite remember. So, over top right corner now, a brave archer. Inspire. If your hand is empty, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. So, that would basically mean, actually, it's a nod to Brave, that one, I think, with the archer with the hooded and the red here. If your hand is empty, so you have to have an empty hand, you have to use your hero power, and then you can use four mana. Really, your hand's only going to be empty kind of in the latest game, because you're going to constantly be having to kind of play cards to get the benefit of that one. I'm not sure that's going to see a huge amount of use, being honest. So in our top corner, our top, rather, we see one of our Mukos champions. Again, this does actually buff and stay with minions. But, looking at it, because he's only got 3 health, that explains why 5 mana, it is a big chunk, really to get the most out of it you're going to have to use your hero power or at least have them protected afterwards. So 
he's got to be a high priority target to remove. Now, top left corner, we can see we've got the familiar blue glow of a rare. Let's have a look. So it's a paladin secret. When your turn starts, give your minions plus one, plus one. That's a really solid card for a token deck. So again, tokens mean it's just minions that are summoned not through actually playing cards. So you get the Aspirant or the um, you know, Silver Hands, so you, you, you summon them through your hero power, that's the token. You have, uh, and I can't remember, there was a Silver Hand Recruit, uh, Silver Hand, the, the previous one we've seen before, which summons an, an extra Silver Hand, for example, that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's really solid for a token decks. It's all of a sudden that. 1-1 one, one becomes a 2-2 two, two in your next turn. Again, it's your start, so your opponent does have a, a turn to try and move as many minions. However, he might not even be aware that that's what it is. Because it is a secret. So let's grab our second to last pack here. We'll go down to the bottom corner here and we see a rare card. So this is a rare, I mean, there are other four could be uncommons now, so let's have a look in. We find our first uncommon in the top right. Four for one eight, tournament medic, inspire, restore health to your hero. Again, it's got a good combination with anything really, so one eight. It's going to survive, but it might not be doing a lot of damage, really. Um, it is, well, yeah, it is good with pretty much anything, really. Um, priests and warlocks, I can see the biggest kind of um, link with. So on the top corner, top rather, um, a Cavaldier Reader. 5 for 4, 4, Inspire, gain plus 2, plus 2. So previously, again, I thought that that was only going to be a one-off, but I found out that, in fact, this stacks. So that Cavaldier Raider is going to be a fairly high-priority target, as he could ramp up fairly quickly. Two turns after summoning, and maybe even you know, one turn after summoning, he could be sitting at an 8-8. So top left corner we see our next uncommon, and we get another tournament medic. So that's three of these boys we've got, it's a troll by the looks of it. So we'll move straight down. Again, even though you might end up with more than you can actually use in the deck, you can always break them down into dust, which lets you then craft other cards with it. So, just have a quick look down here at our bottom left corner. And we see Flame Lance deals 8 damage to a minion for 5. Again, that's a instant kill to almost any minion. I think there's very little that would be able to survive that. Again, though, for 5 mana, it's a big, big chunk of damage, really. I think it's something you have to weigh up the options and what the current kind of cards that you're playing are. So that's our four uncommons. Let's go to a rare. And we see it's a familiar sight. The Spawn of Shadows. It's a priest card. Inspires to four damage to each hero. 5-4. So again, even the body is pretty solid at 5-4, but the fact that you're you know, able to heal and deal damage to a hero directly is going to be a bit scary, I think. So we have our 
last pack for today. Nice. Just take your time and drop it in the middle. We see the confetti exploding out of the pack. And if we go to the top right corner, we find our uncommon card. So three mana, two, two, silent knight, stealth, Vindivine shield. We've seen that again before. I need to look up and really find out if that is a good card or not. I don't see myself playing it, but it might end up being a really solid card. Who knows? So at the top now we've got another uncommon. Now I mentioned about the token decks and that's what I was meaning. So imagine you have played, say, say you've got six mana. You play the Silverhand Regent, that's a 3-3. Three, three. You use Inspire. Now if you are Paladin, you'll actually get two 1-1 one, one recruits. Then your secret will take over and you'll actually get, you know, a 4-4, four, 2-2 four, two, two, and a 2-2. Two, two. So that's what a token's really for. Small minions or minions that are spawned from other cards. So we have our uncommon again here. And we see a familiar refreshment vendor. Again, you know, this is fairly good for what's known as control decks because you won't necessarily be doing a lot of damage straight away to the opponent. So be able to take a bit of board control, bring your health back up. Your opponent might not have any kind of loss of health from be one or two points at most. So it could be better value for you. So we've got in the bottom right corner, bottom left corner, goodness, our uncommon. Four for three five, the holy champion Whenever a character is healed, gain plus to the attack. I mean, that even impacts uh, the opponent. So if the opponent can heal, they get buffed up. I can see that being a really solid card for priests. So we have our last card for this series. What do you think it could be? Well, it's a rare card. Now we see a priest one there. We've not seen many rare druid cards, have we? Paladin. Argent Lance. 2 for 2-2. Two, two. Reveal minion in each deck. If yours costs more, plus 1 durability. I can see I'm inspired by this one. It's uh, only a 2 damage bet. I mean, you're going to be really trying to use that to remove enemy minions. I mean, it's not enough to attack the face with. It could have its place though, but... Well, I'll see. I mean... Again, you're, it's maybe a 2-3, it's maybe not. It's a 50-50 charge, really. So I believe that was all our packs for this one. Thanks very much everybody for watching and join me next time as we open up another pack of Hearthstone cards. Take care, have a great day now and bye bye.